Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard and we are at the local river. It is our reservoir and I am going to do a little bit of fishing. I'm going to use my, my pole and I'm also going to toss in those two spikes and we're going to see if we can't catch anything. I'm going to be using a rooster tail on the fishing pole and uh, I have some uh, small fish frozen fish that uh, I caught many months ago been sitting in the freezer and we're gonna use those today so let's hook all this up and let's get going so I have a little crick chub right here so let's cut this into some pieces See here about chopping that in half. And we'll chop this one in half. There we go. Head and hook that head up there. Let's get a nice little chunk right here. And then one more. This little piece right here will work. Excellent. Now let's get these in the water. And there we go, I have both the steaks out. They're just sitting right out there. And I have a little bit of rabbit food. I'm just gonna chuck out there. Try to bring them in. This does several things. One, it helps bring the fish in. And two, it helps me get rid of this little bit of rabbit food I've been trying to get rid of. So I'm going to toss it out and then we'll continue to fish. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and leave my stuff right here and the pole or in the sticks we're going to leave right here and we're going to move on down this way a little bit so we can get underneath this bridge and fish around the area. I don't really see anybody else around so I don't think there's going to be any problem but even if there is I don't think there'll be any real issue. So let's get back over here to the other side. There we go. Now let's get a little fishing done right here under this bridge. Aiming out that way and pulling it right up by the pylon there on the bridge. See if we can't get something like that.
more bait. Alrighty, so, well, I'm gonna leave the small amount of stuff that I have with me right here. Again, may not be the smartest thing in the world. There's my two poles, my two stick poles, right out there. My regular pole with my rooster tail and the axe that I've been using to hammer my stakes in and some bait. And we're going to wander off into the woods here for a few. Look at a bunch more crickets. Now, this is a this is a spot where people fish a lot. So I'm guessing that a lot of these crickets are like bait that escaped. <laughs> because if you look, see this is where I'm finding all the crickets and it's right here this very common fishing spot. Oh. There goes a duck. Alright, so let's kind of walk back here and see what we can see. See if maybe we can find something interesting. Some nice rocks. I might be looking for a rock similar to this here soon. I'm not 100% sure, but I definitely know where to go to get it if I need it, like right here. <clears throat> Hold on one second. I'm getting that up out of there. Okay, well, it's smaller than I expected. I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit larger. That's not quite what I'm looking for kind of hoping for something thinner and larger but so here's another spot that people go to fish now this is a pretty deep spot to be totally honest it usually is let me see here yeah it's oh yeah it's decently decently deep I don't know if there's any fish Usually what happens is fish get stuck here and then they can't go anywhere. So that's where they stay. Right here in this little sealed off area. But uh, I'm not going to bring my pole back here right now. I might bring my pole back and throw in there and just see if there's something caught in there. But This one's closer to what I'm looking for. There's a couple ducks. Let's see if we can come over here and see these ducks before they take off. Got to stay pretty close. Eye on the ground or... Whoa! Slipping and sliding. Oh! There they take it off. All right, just one left. You gonna take off?
so we're headed headed back. What I would like to be able to do is feel comfortable enough to leave these poles and go across, across the river over there. Technically this is, I've always known it as a creek. Uh, this is actually the creek part. Once we get past the dam it becomes technically a river, but regardless. I'd like to be able to leave those, take off over there to the other side and go walking in the woods. But, I don't really feel confident in leaving these here and taking off. So I don't think I'm going to do that. But, maybe I can take my pole back over to that little spot that we saw that was blocked off and maybe do a little bit of fishing in there and see if there's anything that's caught in there and maybe I can catch catch a fish or two I saw some ripples in the water before we came back I didn't have the camera on but I did see some ripples I don't know if it was something that fell into the water or something that moved up oh, there nope there's ripples right there I don't know if you guys can see that from the distance at which the camera was at or not, but there's actually ripples from something in the water. Big crane. Alright, so let's set the camera up and let's just toss the line in. Just see if maybe we can't catch a bluegill or something. <laughs> 